What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to Zyber Freedom. In this quick guide, I'll be taking you through installing and setting up Vicuna, a brand new text model that was trained on GPT-4 that actually does an incredibly good job for a language model running on your PC and is unrestricted. In my previous video, I showed you how to install it and use it, though there's an issue with the previous setup whereas it only seemed to work for people with GPUs setting it up for GPU. If you didn't have a graphics card from NVIDIA powerful enough to run the model and you chose CPU instead, it just wouldn't start up properly after installing it, giving you llama errors and things like that. Very confusing, but now that's fixed with the brand new version of my one-line install script that I created that you can go ahead and use now. Obviously, when looking into solutions for this, I checked other videos and other people writing about this topic, and the usual solution was you don't get to use the web UI. Instead, go and download this command line program instead, Llama CPP, and you just won't have the same control you would have if you had an NVIDIA graphics card, but that's not the case. A small bit of working around and picking the correct model, as the CPU and GPU compatible models do actually differ, though are functionally the same, I've updated the script, and now you can go ahead and use it yourself, getting you the good web UI even on CPU only. So I'm assuming you have a previous install that doesn't work for you, we'll go ahead and download and install it from scratch with your graphics cards not powerful enough, you don't have a NVIDIA graphics card, or you don't have a graphics card at all, here's what you need to do. To install Vicuna and Ubabuga, the web UI interface, what you need to do is make a new folder, such as on your desktop here, and open it up. At the top, in an empty space on the path, click here and type in PowerShell, then hit enter. Now in this new window, what we need to do is type in IEX inside of brackets IRM Vicuna dot. You'll find this in the description down below, then hit enter. The command will then prepare to download Ubabuga, but instead of just starting, now we have a question. Do you have an NVIDIA GPU? For this, I'll be entering N as I'd like to download and install only the CPU compatible version and automatically the CPU model. But in a moment, I'll show you what happens when you choose yes. In that case, you'll be able to install both the GPU and CPU models and get shortcuts for both. Anyways, installing the CPU only edition first, I'll enter N for no, hit enter, and it'll download and install the CPU only version of Ubabuga. And shortly afterwards, it'll download the Vicuna model that's CPU compatible and place it in the models folder all automatically for us. Now there's a download of a few gigabytes here, plus an eight gigabyte Vicuna model, which will be downloaded later on. So I'll skip through this for now. The model's done downloading. We can say yes to wanting desktop shortcuts and right after creating desktop shortcuts, Ubabuga will then be opened up. Just closing out of it quickly on your desktop, this is what the shortcut looks like for the CPU version. Whereas usually you'd have to open Ubabuga, then use start web UI dot bat. Now with this new installer version, you'll notice a few new files. The install CPU can be ignored, and over here we have Start Web UI Vicuna. Reason is, Ubabuga can use more than just one model, and this is the one set up specifically for Vicuna. We can either start it here using this or the shortcut on our desktop. When double clicked, it'll fire up Ubabuga and use the Vicuna model. Now, if we open this using this link here, either by selecting it with left click, right clicking to copy it, and pasting it into a browser, or if it's underlined, using control and click to open it, you'll see this page here. It's the same as the GPU version, just now running in CPU only mode. We can check by looking at the task manager here. There's almost no difference in GPU usage from before this. And having a look at the processes tab, sorting by memory, Python is using 270 megs. But if we type something like hello, you'll see that it jumps to around a gig or so as the model's being loaded and used. And of course, this will change dynamically as the program runs. Something else to note is that your CPU will get absolutely hammered when generating longer responses as it's using a lot of power. Give me a short poem. Now, while this is generating, I'll check back in my task manager and you can see there's lots of things happening as the AI is typing. Obviously, the more powerful your CPU, the faster this will be. And for CPU only, it really is quite speedy anyway. 
GPU is definitely a lot faster though. So with enough of this example going, I'll go ahead and close my browser and close the CPU only version. What about the GPU option? Well, if you install the CPU only version, unfortunately you can't use GPU models as they rely on different things. However, if you install the GPU version, assuming you have an Nvidia GPU installed, you can download both CPU and GPU versions of Vicuna. Just note that if you try and install the GPU version without an Nvidia graphics card, it'll hang somewhere in the installation and you'll have to delete the entire Ubabuka Windows folder. I'll go ahead and do that now anyways, as we're changing from CPU to GPU and CPU. Unfortunately, you will need to download everything again, but once again, if you have an Nvidia GPU, install the GPU version anyways. You could work your way around it and change it around manually, but it's just easier this way, especially because we came here for a one line install command anyways. All right, so once again, we'll type in PowerShell and we'll run IEX IRM IRM Vicuna dot and we'll hit enter. Now I'll say yes to having an Nvidia graphics card as I actually do. Once again, it'll download and set up the environment, though this time you'll see it's downloading the CUDA compatible version. This one will be a little bit bigger to download, but it lets us use both GPU and CPU models. Then we get an option here. This is what you'll see. We can pick an option to download CPU 1, GPU 2, or CPU and GPU models using 3. I'll go ahead and download both the CPU and GPU models. I'll enter 3 and then hit enter. Now it'll download the Vicuna CPU model, which is around 7.5 gigs. And shortly after this is done, if you chose to download both CPU and GPU, it'll download the GPU model. Whoops, small typo there. There we go, yet another update. I'll go ahead and run the command once more. I'll skip the install. I'll include the sizes here in just a moment. I'll choose CPU and GPU. It'll go ahead and download the CPU model, then the GPU model, and it will resume wherever it left off if it decided to crash or whatever, and you run the command once more, telling it to download the same thing again. There we go. I'll say yes to shortcuts in the desktop, even though I already have them, and now we can choose a version to launch. So I'll choose two for GPU, it'll then start up, and of course, we're back where we used to be before. We can interact with this in our browser, and this time things should be a lot faster. Hello, we'll see how long it takes to type, it should only be a few seconds. There we go. Now, give me a poem. We'll try once more, see what happens. And this is a lot faster, which is great. So this is definitely running on the GPU and we can verify using Task Manager. On the GPU tab, you'll see it's very busy and very full. What about CPU? Well, we can close the command prompt window, close the download window as well, and run the CPU shortcut on our desktop. And we're back to where we were before, opening it up in my browser. It even remembered what we were at. I'll say, give me another poem. And this time it should be using the CPU, which is definitely reflected here. No GPU usage and 100% CPU. CPU usage. Awesome. Anyways, that's about it. It took me a few hours to stick this together. So once again, if you do appreciate these one line install scripts, do click the thanks or join button down below. And of course, should you be curious as to how any of these are made, the code is visible if you head to that web page in your browser. But I've now also uploaded these on GitHub, should you like to push any changes of your own and suggest things to add. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. My name has been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.